everyone, today we're going to be making a grappling hook by just using one script, a local script. And then you can swing around, you can press F to grapple, and you can just swing it when you press left click, and you can stop swinging by pressing right. And then you can press F by grappling, like I said, to shorten the rope, to like push yourself forward and it's kind of fun to just swing around <laughs> the character is like crazy but it's fine see like the screen is yeah weird but yeah this is gonna this is a lot of fun to play around with and it's kind of very easy for the script this is the whole script um if you want I, I'm gonna be doing step by step on how to do it and show you how it works so now we can start working with it. So now what we're gonna do is first of all get a, make a get a tool and then get a part and then that part this part will be the dragged into tool and this will be named as handle, which is a handle of it. The size will be uh, the Z and Y will both be um, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, and this the height is going to be 1.5. So we can get this right click duplicate and do this. Put. Uh, no, duplicate the handle and put the, uh, this one on top of the handle. So it's going to be like this. It looks like this. We name this handle that I'm selecting to our handle. That's it. So this is going to be attached. So get a weld, weld constraint, add the part zero, click it, and then Add the part zero to handle, and the part one to our handle. That's it. Now we duplicate. We name this to our part. Our part. And then you can move this out, and this will be anchored. It will be anchored. Cannot collide and invisible so you put the transparency to one that's it now we are gonna be that's it actually you put get create get a rope so go to module um, right, put this down and then find rope put the first one onto the top of the our handle and then find the part so actually put this transparency to zero and then put it at the very bottom so it'll be connected like this it'll look like this so it'll be attached to the top and attached to the bottom and then once you do that just make it transparency again put get the rope and then make it enabled well unenabled that's it so it'll just look like this, but actually, it has these two parts. So now, what you're gonna do is, that's it. Now we're gonna be do scripting, just one single script, the local script. Delete the hello world. We don't need that. And we're gonna put five variables, and four of the local. So the four is local mouse mouse equals the game dot players dot local player dot get well actually get mouse and then now the next local will be player equals game dot players dot local player dot character next one will be a local UI 
I S all capitalized. Just I like it capitalized. Game equals to game get service quotation marks user input service. And then the last variable is not a local one, but it's a equipped equals false. Actually, there's two more. Max length equals to the max length you want it to reach. So a thousand, let's say. Next one will be length length. Length equals to zero. That's it. Now we do script. The, this is our first function. Script dot parent dot equipped. You connect that to function with parentheses like that. Enter. That's it. Now we do player player dot h u m a n i o d dot capital capitalized s i t so it's player dot capital humanoid h humanoid dot capitalized s c equals false. Now it's going to be script dot parent. Actually, let's put this as a local variable. So local. Oh yeah, this is the last one. Local last variable. Local vote equals script dot parent dot r handle dot vote constraint. That's it. Now we do vote dot enabled equals false yeah and then rope dot length equals 11 that's a first function actually uh, yeah that's a first function actually that you don't need any of this this is actually for the second function so we don't need that, that's all we need for the first function. Next function is a local function. It'll be called right click. So whenever you're right clicking, this will happen. So player dot hum dot human humanoid dot dot capital sit equals false and then you put um same thing script dot which is rope dot enabled equals false and you put rope dot length equals 11 and you'll see why i put 11 like that so that's it now script dot parent dot if it's unequipped then connect it with a function then you send a right click function so whenever it's unequipped you send this into the right click function and it'll tell it what to do it'll tell this to do so whenever it's unequipped it'll tell this and that's it now equipped or equal to false That's it for the second, the third function. Now the fourth function is gonna be uis dot input began. Connect that to a function or a function. And then a function, and then you end it. It'll just be empty until we put a if statement. If it's input. Oh wait, yeah. In the these parentheses, you put in put then if input dot key code 
equals to enum dot key code dot f then then you do that so it'll tell if the input if somebody press a key and if it is if that key was f then you run this code it'll be if equip then then it will be a while true well while equipped and rope dot length is under 10 do and then uh, in that while well in that in that while loop put rope dot length equals to rope dot length minus 10 so yeah now you wait and that is that for the while equipped loop so it'll tell if it's equipped and the rope dot length if the length of the rope is is uh, is over is greater than 10 then it will minus the rope length by 10 so now uh, out of the while loop it will be rope rope dot enabled equals false and then wait then actually don't do wait just do player dot here capital human capital H humanoid dot capital S IT equals to false okay then after that you put a else and then rope dot length equals eleven. That's it for this input pgan function. Um so now the next function will be no this is not really a function. This is gonna be like if mouse dot button two down then you connect it to the right click function so whenever you right click whenever you put the second button down which is right click it will send the this to this and it will run this when you when this happens after that you do mouse dot button one down you connect that to a function then in that function you do if equipped then script dot parent dot rope handle r handle well actually if then it will be rope dot enabled equals true so whenever one button one button one down is equipped and it, it is e equipped then rope die enabled equals true then rope actually script dot parent dot rope part dot position equals to the mouse mouse's pos where the mouse has dot hit that position so now will be player dot humanoid capital H humanoid dot capital S I T equals true so whenever button one down is connected well button one down is pressed then it'll check if it's equipped and then if it is rope dot enabled equals true so the rope will work will be shown and then script dot parent dot row part will dot actually row part dot position I don't know why I put parent but row part dot position equals to mouse dot hit put dot position after that we put we copy the actually no we don't copy the link we just get length equals t 
too. It's gonna be kind of a lot. It'll be script pant dot rope handle dot position minus script dot parent dot rope part dot position and then out of the parentheses you put magnitude and then that's it for that and then use we're gonna put an if statement if length is un is less than the max length then you do it will be script dot parent dot rope r rope handle so you just delete that just do rope dot length equals to length that's it but if we do else then we do right click function that's it I think that is all if I can see yeah this is all what is actually it's all just the code now if we see this we this might work might not work it might have a few things yeah it's not really working uh, let's see so when it's clicked if equipped then rope dot enabled equals true yeah script dot parent dot parent dot position equals mouse dot hit dot position player dot humanoid dot sit equals true so it's gonna be true and then the length equals to this so we can actually maybe copy actually we can just do that delete this length thing so delete this length I think this might work better if length or this then do that Don't know why it's not working. So we have first function, second function, third function, third function. This one, button one down. If it is equipped. Oh, okay. So I saw the problem. We didn't do equipped equals true on the first one equip so this will work this will work okay so since it's equipped then it will tell see yes it works so you can swing you can press F to grapple it to where you want to be where it is and then you can when if you do this when you ever press you press right click it'll just stop you from grappling or something see so whenever I press F and then right click it'll just stop me from grappling or it'll just stop you whenever so there you have it there is how you make a very simple but kind of complicated one script grappling hook without anything else but a tool and rope and stuff and i'll see you in another while see ya